We'll jump right into this Kodak Black story. So he's currently serving a year's sentence for falsifying information for a gun application. Allegedly, he's claiming that he's been beaten by the guards, drug, restricted from seeing his family, barred from the phone and email privileges. But he looking like hell right now. This motivates him to get out and do the right thing, keep his head up, don't get in no fucking trouble, because he's like he having a hard motherfucking time. But let's get into Chloe Kardashian trashy ass and her baby daddy. Right on the curb is that Chloe, I want to be down Kardashian, baby daddy got a baby on the way. Now the girl said allegedly that they sent her cease and desist letter, but why would they do that if the baby ain't his? Maybe you think huh i guess they don't want that shit out first thing you're gonna do is somebody slanting your name you're gonna want to sue their ass you ain't gonna want to send no sis and deceased letter the only thing they don't want to do is open this shit up to the public so they'll know that he the baby daddy basically we about to get into dj paul talking to young buck about on 50 cents so let's take a look at that let's talk about it at the bottom and that motherfucking got my mind right so i was able to walk up out of that motherfucker not just free from that bullshit but just free from being able to not to work. Now I can get to work. You get what I'm saying? That's all I ever wanted to do in regards to whatever dealing with the contract and shit with dude over there. You know, people don't know, you know, how many claim that I had owed them and shit, all of that bullshit. I know I don't owe a nigga, but even me at a point of time, Paul, I got to the place where I was like, you know what? I just want to get to work. Fuck it. I'll pay him. So I even got to a point where I even tried to pay the nigga for something that I know I didn't owe, but that's how desperate I was, because I'm like 300,000, nigga, I'll make that, you know what I mean? you make that so, back off shows, you know, we talked I'll, about yeah, that. Yeah, hell yeah, that ain't shit, so it's like, you gonna do that, so it was really one of them situations where homie just, you know, I guess in spite about a lot of shit, you know, for whatever it is, you know, basically, I feel like I'm old. If I owe you, this show me on paper, I'm going to pay you. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to go around all of that bullshit as far as legal. And then it got to the point where I had no choice to try to go that way. So I, I got to having my legal side, conversate with his legal side. Got to a point where I said, well, you know what? I'll give you half for the 300000 and the other half in 30 days, my nigga. He come back and add 50 more thousand on and say he want me to sign over my whole catalog. You know, I own all my shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I'm the only nigga that ever recouped in G on the history. I don't owe Interscope or G unit the quality, my nigga. You get what I'm saying? So for me, it's, I get caught up and tangled up in, in a lot of the bullshit. And it was really one of those situations where I tried in every kind of way, you know, to work it out. All right. You saying I owe you an album? Let me give you an album. You feel me? All right, you ain't gonna give me no album. Let me give you the money then. I think what homie was doing was just trying to kind of get the energy from. Oh, I don't know. I, but you good? You good now though? You can record yeah, and you can drop. I can now. record and do what I want to do, man.